Hello everybody, my name is Virus Lord, and I am back to bring you guys another video. Today we will be looking at my next Windows XP, or should I say Windows Whistler video. Today we will be looking at Windows Whistler Build 2250. Now this is a pre-beta build release. The last one we did was an alpha release, I forgot to clarify that, and now I did. <laughs> now let's check out what has changed, and look at that, we've got a bright new installation. Now, I am doing an upgrade instead of doing a fresh install because I found that fresh installs from just starting it out from the disk is really, really, it's really, 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 really bad. And I've had very, very bad luck with it. So I might as well just do upgrade so I can keep all the settings and I don't have to keep reinstalling drivers and stuff like that so I can give you guys crisp and nice color. So here's Windows Whistler. So we have a bit of branding changes. It's now starting to say Windows Whistler. This is the old build that I used to build upon. Now, let's give you a bit of information on this build. This build was compiled, maybe, on June 28th, 2000. So that's about a couple months right after Windows XP 22... 20, <laughs> 2221, I believe. I'm sorry, guys. My memory is starting to fail me. Now, this build was released. It was released to testers on, the, on August 13th. 2001 at the professional developers conference in florida so this is the first build released to the testers and it was released in both personal and professional editions and the setup looks a lot like has many parts of the os that kind of have windows 2000 and neptune and even a millennium branding so I'll be leaving a link to the actual press conference in Florida. There's an article on it, and I will be actually leaving a link in the description so you guys can actually figure that out. And I'm sorry, guys, the date was July. It was July 28th, 2000. Excuse me on my poor, on my poor saying skills, because I can't read dates, you see. Anyways, so what has changed in this build well this build has a lot a lot of new things in it so during the setup in this build as you can see and the winver dialog after the setup it now has codename whistler branding instead of windows 2000 this build now has the new login screen and now has a windows flag so i'm gonna be i don't think i showed the actual login screen this video however you will very briefly see it at the end of the video if you can catch it <laughs> how um but that's okay uh, the next video, I guess I can say that's a teaser. That'll keep you guys ready for the next video so you guys can see the actual new start, uh, actual start up screen, which is pretty cool. So the Whistler banner is now, is now Windows 2001. So it includes a new start menu and a theme called Professional. Now I'll give a little bit of a note on the start menu and the theme. The control panel has updated has been updated with categories similar to what you can find in Windows XP released to manufacturing. And the help and support, the file a report page now reads Windows Whistler Beta Team instead of Neptune. And you can now turn off the machine again instead of hibernating as default. Now I gotta give you guys a little bit of a um, little heads up on the actual getting the new start menu is that you need to actually click start menu properties by clicking the start button and then pressing the combination alt d on the keyboard and pressing apply and that'll actually activate the new start menu and here it is as you can see <laughs> updated the beta team now let's see let's see if i can actually do this right now so i gave you guys crisp clear color and as you can see the banner now says windows whistler instead of windows 2000 which is really cool now let me take a look okay so i gave you guys the new thing here we go let's try and get the new start menu up so here we're going to do the alt d and then we're going to hit apply and we're going to check out what the new start menu looks like and here it is here's the new start menu it looks almost identical kind of similar to what you would find in the rtm version not perfectly identical but the actual more programs still kind of look windows 2000-esque style and here we go windows media player still here still looks the same nothing too different about it and let me see if i can get the new theme coming up here we go where is it where can i find the new theme 
All right, so we're gonna click apply. I think I have to do something really fancy so I can give you guys the new theme. I have to click appearance. Ah, here we go. Here's appearance, and now we're gonna do professional, and we're gonna hit apply, and we're actually gonna see what's gonna happen. As you can see, it looks a lot different. It's starting to look more or less like Windows XP. As you can see, the colors are looking a lot more colorful. There's a lot more color in integrated into this theme, and it's kind of like the birth of the themes that we have that we can still see today in Windows 10, Windows 8.1, Windows 7, and even Windows Vista and XP. We can see these themes still coming in the shadows today. So let's take a look at Internet Explorer. Let's see what we can find on the internet, if we can find anything. All right, let's see. So now Internet Explorer now identifies itself as version 5.6. So this will be interesting. So let me see if I can actually hit the uh, first. We're going to test out Google. We got to go to our go to website, Google.com. So let's see if it works, actually. So while it's happening, let's multitask like any other computer. Let's check the properties. So the property still says 2250. Very nice. Good information to know. Now, as you can see, it still has the Windows ME style kind of look to it but it does look feel a little bit more different this like I said it, it's, it's incorporating all three operating systems in in one and on the article that I was going to be linking below it gives you guys more information about the Windows Neptune project and the Windows Whistler project so you guys should really really check out that link down there so you guys can learn a little bit more about Windows Neptune and why specifically Microsoft decided to actually cancel the windows neptune project so you guys can check that out so check out the link it's going to be in the description and have a really nice read it's very interesting actually unfortunately the pictures aren't working but at least you guys can read what it has it's the best i can do i'm very sorry guys but hey check it out and hopefully you guys will enjoy it so here we go google works very well now internet explorer looks like it's working very well as well even though i really i'm not a fan of windows <laughs> of internet explorer so let's check out what else can I check out so yeah it pretty much looks more or less like what Windows Whistler looked what Windows XP looks like now um I'm trying to look at the help and support no that's not the right right help and support it still kind of has it here we go so here's the Windows ME help and support as you can see uh, they haven't changed much in here there's not that much really in here that's been changing um yeah there's not that much has changed in this section of it we got contact support, support communities, really. This is one for the beta testers, just in case. And unfortunately, oh wow, do these still work? <laughs> That's, um, okay, that's interesting. So these little links that they link you to places. Okay, that's interesting, very interesting. All right, so I think, yeah, I think that's, that's nothing else. That's about it, that's pretty much really about it. That's pretty much all I have on this build of Windows XP. Oh, wait, here's the control panel. I completely forgot to show you guys the control panel. Now let me switch the, here we go. Now it's starting to look more or less like Windows XP. So you can see with the appearance themes and the printers, here's our user accounts. It's no longer called Windows identities. It is now called user accounts. Here we go. That's very, very interesting. That's really cool. Oh, it wants me to do an update. Um, <laughs> setup is complete. Okay, so this is for the automatic updates, I, I believe so. I don't, I, I don't remember. <laughs> Anyways, very interesting. And that's really, really cool. Wow. So, that's really about it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys watching all my videos and all the love and support you guys have been giving me throughout the whole time I've been on YouTube. I hope you guys are really enjoying my Windows Whistler videos. Please check back next week so you guys can see the next part in my Windows Whistler series. And come see how Windows XP, one of the most popular operating systems that Microsoft has ever released, comes to life. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and check out those notifications so you guys know when I'm going to post a video. And as always, Virus Alertable, signing off.